today we'll be reading chapter two from our Judy Moody book. Chapter two is titled Roar. Before we begin chapter two, let's discuss what happened in chapter one. So we met Judy Moody, our main character. We met her mom, dad, and brother Stink. Judy was in a mood because it was the end of summer and she had to go back to school that day. And she was upset because she didn't go anywhere all summer. So all the kids she knew would have on these new shirts with where they went on them and these words on them and pictures. And she didn't have a shirt to wear. So she was complaining about it and her father was like, but you got to eat shark. So Judy ran upstairs and made herself a shirt that said, I ate shark with a big shark on it. But when she found her best friend Rocky at the bus stop, she saw his cool new shirt about a roller coaster he went on at Bush Gardens and it put her in a bad mood again. So today we're going to read Chapter 2, Roar, and let's see what Judy does in school. When Judy Moody arrived in third grade, her teacher, Mr. Todd, stood by the door, welcoming everyone. Hello there, Judy. Hello, Mr. Toad, said Judy. She cracked herself up. Class, please hang your backpacks on the hooks and put your lunches in the cubbies, said Mr. Todd. Let's look at the word cubbies. Cubbies are little, like, small spaces for storing things, like little, like, wooden or plastic squares that you put your things in. If you went to kindergarten at Winthrop, you will know what a cubby is because you had one in all the classrooms there. Judy Moody looked around the classroom. Do you have a porcupine named Roger? Judy asked Mr. Todd. No, but we have a turtle named Tucson. Do you like turtles? She liked turtles, but she caught herself just in time. No, I like toads. Judy cracked up again. Rocky, your seat is over by the window, and Judy, yours is right up front, said Mr. Todd. I knew it, said Judy. She surveyed her new front row desk. Okay, let's look at the word surveyed. Okay, surveyed means when you take a look around so you can make a judgment about what you are seeing. So you're kind of looking around and judging what you see and surveying it. It didn't have an armadillo sticker with her name on it. Guess who sat across the aisle from her? Frank Eats Pace Pearl. He glanced at Judy sideways, then bent his thumb all the way back, touching his wrist. Judy rolled her tongue like a hot dog back at him. You like sharks too, he asked, passing her a small white envelope with her name on it. Ever since they had danced the maypole together in kindergarten, this boy would not leave her alone. In first grade, Frank Pearl sent her five valentines. In second grade, he gave her a cupcake on Halloween, on Thanksgiving, and on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Now, on the first day of third grade, he gave her a birthday party invitation. Judy checked the date inside. His birthday was not for three weeks. Even a real shark would not scare him off. Can I look inside your desk, asked Judy. He moved to one side. No sign of paste. Mr. Todd stood in front of the class. Gino's Extra Cheese Pizza was printed in large letters on the board. Are we having extra cheese pizza for lunch, Judy asked. For spelling, Mr. Todd held his finger to his lips like it was a secret. You'll see. Then he said, okay, third grade. Listen up, we're going to try something different to kick off the year as a way of getting to know one another. This year, each of you will make your own me collage. All about you. Let's look at the word collage. A collage is an art form made by attaching different materials to a flat surface. So if you were going to make a me collage, you would want your collage to be about you. So you'd maybe include pictures of your family, your house, any pets you have, things that you like, like maybe your favorite place to go. So if it was about me, I'd include Disney World pictures, um, maybe a favorite TV show you have, something like that. But it's got to be about you. You can draw or cut out pictures and paste things to your collage that tell the class what makes you, you. A me collage? It sounded fun to Judy, but she didn't say so. We don't have to draw a map of our family then, asked Jessica Finch. 
I'm passing out a list of ideas for things you might include, like your family. I'm also giving everyone a folder for collecting the things you want to put on your collage. We'll work on these as we have time over the next month. At the end of September, you'll get a chance to tell the class about you. And you can see here's Judy's paper. So the me collage, and it says, it's hard to read, but it said things you may want to include. Who am I? Where I live? My friends? My best friend? My favorite pet? So when I grow up, like what do you want to be kind of thing. Hobbies that you like. The worst thing that ever happened to me. The funniest thing. I think the last one says clubs. All through language arts and social studies, Judy thought about one thing. Herself. Judy Moody, star of her own me collage. Maybe third grade wasn't so bad after all. Okay, everybody, time for spelling. Ugh, spelling, Judy said under her breath, remembering her bad mood. Yuck, spelling, Frank Pearl agreed. Judy squinched her eyebrows at him. Take out a piece of paper and write down five spelling words you could find hidden in the words on the board. Gino's Extra Cheese Pizza. Cool spelling, huh? Said a note passed to Judy by Frank. No, she wrote back on her hand, flashing it at him. Judy took out her brand new package of grouchy pencils with mad faces on them. Grouchy pencils for completely impossible mood, said the package. Ever see a pencil that looks like it got up on the wrong side of the bed? Perfect. The new grouchy pencil helped her think. She found the words tree, Texas, and taxi hidden in Mr. Todd's spelling on the board. But instead, she wrote down, no, 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 no. Who would like to tell the class five words they came up with, asked Mr. Todd. Judy's hand shot up. Judy? No, 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 said Judy. That's one word. I need four more. Come up and write them on the board. Judy Moody did not write tree, Texas, and taxi. Instead, she wrote Rat and Nat. How about Brat, called Rocky. There's no B, said Frank Pearl. Tiger, wrote Judy. One more word, said Mr. Todd. Spit, wrote Judy. Can you use any of those words in a sentence, Judy, asked Mr. Todd. The tiger spit on the rat and the nap. The whole class cracked up. Frank laughed so hard he snorted. Are you in a bad mood today, asked Mr. Todd. Roar, said Judy Moody. That's too bad, said Mr. Todd. I was just about to ask who wants to go down to the office and pick up the pizza. It's a welcome back surprise. Pizza? Pizza for real? The room buzzed with excitement. Judy Moody wanted to be the one to pick up the pizza. She wanted to be the one to open the box. She wanted to be the one who got to keep the little three-legged plastic table that kept the box top from sticking to the pizza. So who would like to pick up the pizza today, asked Mr. Todd. Me, yelled Judy. Me, 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 everyone shouted at once, waving their hands like windmills in the air. Rocky raised his hand without saying a word. Rocky, would you like to pick up the pizza? Sure, said Rocky. Lucky, Judy said. When Rocky came back with the pizza, the class grew quiet. Everyone chewing teeny weeny cheesy squares of Gino's pizza and listening to Mr. Todd read them a chapter from a book about a pepperoni pizza-eating dog. When he finished reading, Judy asked, Mr. Todd, can I look at your little pizza table? That does look like a miniature table, Judy. I never thought of that way. Thought of it that way. I collect them, said Judy Moody. She didn't really collect them, yet. So far, she had collections of 27 dead moths, a handful of old scabs, a dozen fancy toothpicks, Hundreds of designer band-aids she needed the box tops. A box of body parts from dolls, including three Barbie heads, and four unused erasers shaped like baseballs. Tell you what, said Mr. Todd, if you think you could come to third grade in a good mood tomorrow, it's yours. Do you think you could agree to that? Yes, Mr. Todd, said Judy. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, and here's like the picture of the little pizza table she's insisting she really needs. Okay, so we read chapter two, and we were introduced to two more characters, Mr. Todd and Frank, who Judy has gone to school with, and he apparently likes to eat paste, so she doesn't like to be his friend. We were also introduced to a new setting. In chapter one, 
it was Judy's house. But here in chapter 2, they are at school. Okay, so the setting of this chapter 2 is school. Um, Judy in this chapter has learned that third grade really isn't too bad, but she doesn't want to admit it. And we're going to find out more about Judy as we read each chapter. So you're going to go and answer some questions on this chapter. We will focus on our three vocabulary words, collage, cubbies, and surveyed. And then answer some questions about the story.